Welcome to episode one, Diving In with Women in STEM. My name is Amber Sparks, and I'm co-founder of the Blue Latitudes Foundation, here today at the Birch Aquarium at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. I'm sitting in front of their giant kelp quartz tank, and I'm here today to meet with Ashley Blinkus. She's my dear friend, a marine scientist, scientific diver, and dive technician who's paving the way for women in the diving industry. Ashley, tell me about what your role is here and what you do. Well, Amber, um, I'm happy to have you here today. My role here at the aquarium is actually um, as a diver and also a technician. I help maintain all of the scuba equipment that's used by both the aquarists and the volunteers here at Birch. Um, and also the perk of the gig is I get to get in the tank and um, we do everything from monitoring animal health and cleaning and maintaining the tank and the flow systems uh, and keeping all the animals happy and putting on shows for the public. So it's pretty awesome. That sounds fun. Can we go check it out with you? Yeah. Okay, okay. let's go. <laughs> so the sun has come out, we put our glasses on, and now we are on the top of this incredible kelp horse exhibit here at the Birch Aquarium. So why are we outside? Um, so the reason we're outside is because kelp is an algae. That means it photosynthesizes. So you'll see that the top of the tank is actually open. Uh, here in Southern California, we have a lot of wonderful sunshine to make sure that that kelp stays fed and happy. Uh, we also have a huge wave machine that provides flow and flush for a lot of animals, like the eels who like a little bit of flow through the exhibit. It's also awesome visually, and it's great for the kelp to kind of have that nice cold water flush over it. So yeah, it makes for a really unique and beautiful exhibit. It's awesome. Okay, so I'm getting ready to dive in the exhibit, um, and this is all the gear that I need. I've got a seven millimeter wetsuit, super thick, it's gonna be fun. Um, also gloves and a hooded vest. That's just to stay warm, like I mentioned, the kelp likes cold water, so it's gonna be a little chilly in there. I've got my scuba tank with my air, and then I have my regulator here. This is my second stage regulator, it's what I breathe through. So we check, all is in working order. And then I have my gauge here that lets me know how much air I have left in this tank. Wouldn't be a fun thing if that number was zero. Um, and we've got the octopus, which is a backup regulator in case there were to be any issues with the first. Um, we've always got a backup because we want to be extra extra safe when we're diving. Um, so yeah, let's get suited up. Hey guys, we are on the outside of the kelp horse exhibit and Ashley is swimming right by me. My favorite thing about this kelp horse tank is that it shows us the marine life that's right outside in our waters here in San Diego. It helps us to better understand the marine life that you see there. We see this gigantic black sea bass. We see our moray eels. We see the California Garibaldi. They look like gigantic goldfish. But the amazing thing about the Birch Aquarium here at Scripps Institution of Oceanography is that they take this marine environment and they bring it to the public. They bring it to a place where we all can see and learn about the ocean and find ways to for 
end of the pier. This is one of the most amazing components of being a diver and a biologist at Scripps because of the close proximity we have to the Great Big Blue. So we are able actually to pick up boats that we have out here, launch them, hoist over the side, and climb down this chain ladder, and <laughs> off we go. So when you launch the boats off, what are you guys doing out here? Where are you going and what are you looking for? Well, um, one of the main reasons that the campus of Scripps exists here is because of the Scripps Canyon. So basically that's really, really deep water that's really close to shore. So we're able to collect a, a, a lot of different specimens from deep water without having to go way, way miles off. It, also that deep water brings in big animals like whales and elephant seals close so that they're observable from just out here with a pair of binoculars. The pier pilings that are holding the pier up, lots of things like mussels and crabs and invertebrates settle on those and it causes a lot of bait fish to spool around. Um, and we've even seen a baby gray whale swim under the Oh my so, gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, so it's, it's great diving literally right beneath where we're standing. Wow. So this is essentially my office. Uh, this is my workbench with all the tools that I have need to test scuba equipment and make sure that everything's working really well. Um, I can make repairs to scuba equipment and adjustments and basically just offer whatever kind of equipment support that any scientist might need for some research underwater. So I've been passionate about working underwater my entire life. I grew up here um, La Jolla was my mom's favorite beach, so ever since I could walk, I was swimming in the ocean and snorkeling in the kelp forests, and it, it really feels like home to me. And sometimes being underwater feels more like home than being above water, so it was just a good fit. Um, and it's, it's just what I'm passionate about, it's what's fun to me, and I love being able to share that with others. And a lot of times people find that they find it really fun as well. So. I'd say if you want to pursue a career underwater, I'd give the same advice as pursuing a career anywhere, is to never turn down an opportunity to learn something new. If you're interested in something, don't ever underestimate uh, your capacity to pick up a new skill and eventually become an expert in it because anybody can do it. And all it takes is practice and passion and also, you know, never take for granted people like mentors that can help teach you and guide you along the way because that can be really critical. Thanks for watching the first episode on women in STEM. We're so excited to introduce you to Ashley and take you around the Birch Aquarium and Scripps Institution of Oceanography. If you liked this episode, make sure to give our channel a follow. Right up here, click the links. We're Science CTV. You can also find us at the Blue Latitudes Foundation on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.